distributed generation like solar can provide a lot of benefits to a customer, uh, including uh, clean, renewable energy that's generated locally for relatively low cost. The grid, when tied to those local generation sources, can provide stability and reliability and can provide that extra little oomph that you need when starting certain devices. So as the, as the public considers uh, going with uh, solar voltaic systems uh, to power their homes and maybe even go totally off grid, they, they really have to consider uh, some of the aspects that, that some of the more advanced aspects that goes into sizing the generation source that's going to power their loads. Uh, one of the things they have to consider is the inrush power that these loads like the refrigerators, air conditioning, pull pumps, all these motor type loads are going to need uh, a lot of inrush current to get up and, and running. And currently they, they have that ability being connected to the grid and they may take advantage of what the grid capability is. When they install these inverters, that's taking the DC and converting it to AC to supply the loads, they're gonna have to check the size ratings uh, on these inverters and they're gonna find that the majority of the inrush power rating for these inverters is gonna be uh, two to three times the nominal power. If you look at the data, if we have uh, an energy meter that averages over an hour, the inrush energy is going to be smoothed out. You're not going to see uh, within that average of an hour. However, if, uh, if we had some way to derive from that and look uh, uh, at 15 minute interval and a one minute interval all the way down to one cycle, you would see that some of this inrush can be anywhere from two to 10 times that of your continuous power. If you're gonna go off grid, you have to size these inverters to supply the inrush power. What we're seeing is that devices are affected even by very small changes on a second to second or even a millisecond to millisecond basis. So our electricity supply is more sensitive than ever and we have to take a more careful look at it than we ever have had to before. Instead of having the solar system with your own set of batteries, uh, use the grid as your, your energy storage. Essentially, the grid acts like a big bank where you can put your energy, where it pools all the energy coming in from various different sources and you can put your energy from your solar photovoltaic system if it's generating more electricity than you need at any one time. Then at other times when you need a little bit of extra power from the grid, you can get it instantaneously to power your local loads. That's some of the aspects that EPRI wants to look at and uh, be able to show where the value is. Is the value in off-grid or is the value in being tied in with the grid and getting the benefits of both?